A heavily destroyed historic route is one step closer to seeing travelers again. We've been uh, pushing this for a while, and I'm glad, you know, squeaky wheel finally got the grease. In 2019, State Route 88, also known as Apache Trail, was crushed by boulders, broken apart by erosion, and littered with debris following burn scar flooding. It was pretty uh, sad when the road was washed out. Communities in the area like Tortilla Flat, where Katie Ellering works, hit hard as the once popular route for hikers, adventurers, and travelers had to be closed down, hurting tourism. It was a big impact. Um, you know, there's so many people travel the entire Apache Trail. Ever since that destruction, ADOT has been working to reopen SR-88, but they've ran into some big problems when it comes to mile marker 222, just east of Tortilla Flat. This is about an hour and a half drive from Phoenix. This area is proving to take a lot of money in order to restore, which is why they're having to go a different route. Here we've heard the community and we're responding. While ADOT continues to work on their $33.5 million plan to completely restore the state road, they are now proposing a $4 million plan to fix up the road just enough for certain people to use. So that vehicles, four-wheel drive vehicles, vehicles with high clearance and, and kind of those all-terrain type vehicles could use that five miles that are currently closed. This means people with certain vehicles might soon travel along the complete Apache Trail, something that hasn't been done in five years, bringing travelers back to Ellering's community. I've got four wheels, so I can, <laughs> I'm enjoying that when it opens too. Now ADOT is hoping to begin repair work next month, but they do need approval from the federal government because a section of that road does cut through federal land. Now right now ADOT is still working on funding for that long-term plan to fix the entire road so all cars can use it.